one of the most philosophical doctrine that helps the painting is the logic. You can find logic in mathematics, physics, astronomy, literatures, theater, music. Sorry, maybe you don't like it because everyone has always told you that art means freedom, anarchy, no respect of the rules, be spontaneous, but all those ideas are false beliefs. And how can I prove this concept? And I give you an example. When you finish to paint, maybe you can feel tired, you can feel depressed because you are empty inside and you start to see in a negative way your work. Because the brain doesn't work properly and your perception of what is good and what is worse is completely different from the beginning. When you restart to work after two days, you will see your painting with a fresh view. Probably you will see something better than before. Um, the reason why you look at your drawing in a different way, it's because your emotions are positive. What does it mean? It means that your emotional state can interfere with your point of view and also the preconceptions that are placed in the mind don't allow you to believe in what your eyes have seen. That's why be skeptical at the first view. Ask at yourself, I'm really looking at the drawing, I'm really looking at depth lines, I'm really looking at the colors of this particular area of the mouth or the chin. Uh, let me go close to the model. Have a doubt when you work, okay? Don't just look one second and spend three minutes in painting. Look carefully, repeat in your mind, let me see in a deep way. And when you feel too much negative emotion, it means that you spend your time in pay attention at yourself rather than the subject. How the final result can be. In conclusion, logic helps you to guide you in through your artistic process. And in any step of your journey, if you lost your way, Ask at yourself, what is logical to do now? To find the right color is like to have a conversation with a friend. And at some point of the story, he interrupts you and starts to talk about something else. What do you do? So you will continue to listen to him because he's a friend, of course, and when he will finish, you will say, sorry, but let me say what I was telling you. And then you will get your train thoughts again. In any place of your portrait where you restart to paint, and it doesn't matter when, it is exactly the same concept. You take up the thread of the speech that you left. If you keep this approach, you will have a connection with the past because you will not destroy what you have done and or you will not cover or repaint everything with new colors. And this is a crucial point because classical uh, style requires to be determined and be aware about your path. You will create a line from the past to the present and future. In the modern art is different because when you express yourself you have to catch the floating moment, what you feel in this particular moment, without connection with the past and what you had done in the painting. Okay, it's fine. I don't have anything against this approach, but you can't use this idea when you paint in a realistic or classical style. And it is very common that students have this mindset 
that comes from a legacy of impressionist and expressionist and modern art. They want to paint everything um, what they feel in in the present moment, and they destroyed everything. And, and they do four paintings on top of the same canvas in the same session. Okay, if you want to understand more, and if you want to see all stages of this painting, maybe you can consider to subscribe at my Patreon page. Okay, I will leave you the link below. I have two tiers, one for beginner and intermediate, and one for advanced. Choose the one that is suitable for you. And if you don't want to continue to uh, be a part of my Patreon, you can unsubscribe in any moment, wherever you like.